What's up people and welcome to my tutorial in Pragmatic Data Science. And the previous videos we have been discussing different uh, similarity measurements for checking the similarity between two vectors and sets. And uh, they have different trade-offs of course that we have been going through. And in this last video is kind of, you can see if this like an optional video more like uh, intriguing in order to see the how the Minkowski distance works and this is kind of complicated and I don't really personally have any intuition of how this is put together but I think it's kind of cool so I also want to show you it. So uh, I'm just gonna dive straight into this how this works so this is the algorithm basically and what you would do here is you would take you can see how you would have y and uh, x vector as previously you're gonna calculate the distance here d uh, between these vectors and uh, and uh, you kind of see how you can do this distance here absolute value of the one minus the other one right and then you would square that with a number r which you're going to have a look at later and then you would also do one over r with the exponent here and uh, so what does this what does this give you and uh, what happens when you change this value r here is kind of cool i think at least so if you use this algorithm and you set r is equal to 1, this is going to give you exactly the same thing as the Euclidean distance. And if you haven't watched my video about the Euclidean distance, please backtrack and check that out. And uh, you'll maybe you'll see how this is put together, right? And if we set r is equal to 2, we are going to get the Manhattan distance, which is also kind of cool, I think. And if you set this to r is going to be equal to uh, or going towards infinity, this is going to correspond to doing the same thing as measuring the maximum difference between uh, any dimensions of, of these two vectors, right? And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that, and uh, I'm going to let you experiment with this as you see fit. I'm not going to use it in the implementation or anything, but I think it's kind of interesting to have this uh, also put in here because you can definitely see how this can be very powerful and you can even change this like your runtime very easily <clears throat> to switch between uh, Euclidean and uh, Manhattan distance for example. Alright so I hope you guys like this video and that is all for the theoretical part about similarity measurements and in the next video we're gonna dive into implementation of, of some of the stuff that we have been talking about previously. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.